Meanwhile, Hong Junpyo of the Liberty Korea Party is on a three-day tour across the nation. Shin Zemin is trailing the conservative candidate who believes there's more to the polling numbers than meets the eye. The presidential candidate of Liberty Korea Party, Hong Junpyo, is once again in the limelight. Hong, who previously has said he does not trust public opinion polls, proved otherwise when it came to Google Trends. Referencing the Google search data on Thursday, the conservative runner said he is tossing and turning this race with candidate Moon Jae-in of the Democratic Party of Korea. Google Trends show Moon and I have now settled for a two-way race in terms of most search name. My status is rapidly rising while that of Moon is slowly falling. The election will be won by the one that rises to the top at the last minute. Earlier in the day, Hong uploaded a post on Facebook with the current Google Trends level of interest for presidential contenders, with Hong standing at 48, the steady frontrunner Moon at 52, and People's Party's An Chol Su at 22. Hong had long been an admirer of Google Trends, which show the relative search frequency of a particular search term for a selected region over a period of time. He also said that Google Trends predicted Donald Trump's win in the U.S. presidential election last year. The conservative candidate also encouraged a high voter turnout, hoping it hits a whopping 90 percent as opposed to the 75 percent rate in the previous presidential election. Making his way up north from the country's southeast region, Hong is working his conservative base, hoping that the region which had been voting for the conservative candidates would rally behind him and snag him the presidency. Hong's campaign will soon head to Seoul, just in time to celebrate Children's Day on Friday. There, the self-proclaimed strong man will mingle with the country's little ones while wooing their parents' votes. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.